Hello everyone, welcome to today's discussion. Uh, my name is Andrew and uh, we've had several discussions about food security and today we are going to look at the underlying factor of technology and uh, innovations in the field of agriculture towards food security. The ultimate role of, food, of technology in food security is to achieve maximum production of uh, agricultural produce and also to cut on the costs of production and also to develop plants uh, and also animals that are valuable to the consumers and also plants that are, are resistant to diseases bio that is biotic and abiotic stresses. Now today we, we are going to get opinions, public opinions about this issue of food security and uh, what they understand about food security and the role of technology in achieving food security in Kenya and also in the in the tropical regions and in the world at large. Uh, food security. Yeah. It's a situation mm. where the people, yeah. the food that is available, yeah. it meets uh, the people, the current population. Uh -huh. Because the more the people, the more the food should be. Yes. If there's more people and there, there's less food. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. In security, according to me, in a study that maybe you talk about availability, yeah. accessibility, uh, and food that meet the entire time. use the food that you stored yeah, to save people's lives yeah. and then maybe it can also mean uh, food security it can mean maybe uh, the way to the way you can store your food to, uh, to avoid food poisoning yeah, something like that i think food security is like the like, each household is able to provide food on, on maybe a daily basis on, or on whatever time they can. So basically, what I understand by the food security, yeah. uh, this basically means that uh, coming up with the means or mechanism yeah. to enhance mm -hmm. or to make sure that uh, the food that is available at our disposal, mm -hmm. uh, basically we consider how Kenya has been sectioned in counties in all situations yeah. and then uh, worldwide. As a, as a nation, yeah. and therefore also putting in consideration agriculture mm -hmm. eh, as a major or a major stakeholder. Of you know of one particular technology mm -hmm. that has contributed uh, towards agriculture, yeah, just maybe mm -hmm. one or two, uh, maybe in terms of uh, uh, production like irrigation or something, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. or, or modern, mm -hmm. modern seeds. Uh, if you look at uh, most Kenyan farmers, what they are going they are going they are doing right now yeah. they are moving away from the traditional methods yeah. they are going into the modern they are adapting with technology okay. and they are taking their um, their skills there they are learning more and doing more mm -hmm. you can see greenhouses irrigation yeah yeah mm -hmm. and what is it called crop rotation like they don't plant mm -hmm. uh, uh, certain food mm -hmm. crops yeah. over and over again they keep on they keep on shifting yeah they're shifting uh, to the new uh, seeds in the market. Yeah. Okay. Uh, GMOs, um, I would believe that some of them are meant to be, they are meant to be more viable than the traditional ones because use of chemicals mm -hmm. and other factors, they will be viable in whatever conditions. So I'm guessing GMOs are the what they use today because you will find that land, that, like she has said, there is dry land, but or land that is prone to that is prone to pest or something of the sort. So those things I think will be really useful. Machines. <laughs> it's long time we did agriculture when I was in high school. <laughs> okay. But uh, I know we have machines. 
let me basically talk about the growing of food. Yeah. We have these machines that can be used to plow. Mm. Mm. Uh, if someone has a big field yeah. or a big chamber, mm. you see you cannot go for that manual, whatever. Yeah. Uh, or just ha having that labor, mm. people, mm. it will be somehow difficult. Mm. So there's these machines, mm. uh, I don't know how we call them. The plows. The plows. Yeah, yeah. The tractor plows. The tractors, tractor yeah. Driven plows, yeah. yeah. So they use, they are used to at least to cultivate a land, land, yeah. and then we have also this machine that we use to, ir to irrigate when, uh, if there is no water, yes. there is no enough water, yeah. we can irrigate maybe that field, yeah. Yeah, for us to, to grow that. Uh, technology, I think that technology has not been exploited fully okay. to meet the agenda of food security. In, especially in Kenya. Yeah, especially in Kenya, because yeah. of, a number of, of a number of factors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because one, we can consider GMO. Mm. We see that the GMO is facing a lot of threat yeah. from people, uh, and majority of them are landed, and even they are by scientists like me. Uh, There's something that's very unfortunate. Uh, so that's an area that. Uh, we needed to devise proper strategies. Yeah. Of course, people need to be educated about the benefits of membrane technology and food security. Yeah. Uh, Aspects such as cloning needs to be involved. We have uh, this maze that is coming up, the Katamani maze, yeah. resistant maze. We have the tobacco resistant, uh, striker, striker resistant. Yeah, those type of crops are the ones that need to be grown in these arid areas that are not being used up. Yeah. yeah. So basically, for me, I think that uh, Kenyans are sleeping on technology okay. to employ it for so the purpose it, of food in, security. In your view, yeah. the technology that is there and also has also been implemented up to this far, is it? Uh, it's not sufficient to help us achieve food security in Kenya. Uh, the technology that is uh, at our disposal current now yeah. and is implemented, yeah. I think uh, it is sufficient. It is sufficient. It is sufficient to provide uh, food security yeah. or to meet the agenda of food security. Food security. The only problem is, uh, I think, uh, it is the aspect of attitude yeah. of the people. Yeah. What's the technology and the product that comes out? Mm. So I there is a lot of technology, but people don't take yeah, in the people don't the, take it or yeah. don't see the benefit of it. Of using it. Or because of various positions based on our culture and our preferences, yes. we tend to think that uh, these the foods that come out of technology are dangerous. Mm. In the the same quote of what we call uh, cancer, yeah. in the name of cancer, yeah. because of various articles that have been published that the GMO foods are not good for eating. Mm. So those are some of aspects that I think uh, scientists need to be clarify or come out clear and write articles or do research to assure people mm. or to assure those that uh, want to venture in technology for the purpose of achieving food security mm. not to be afraid okay. yeah, and to exploit the, the idea fully okay. yeah, without delay. Yeah, okay. yes. <laughs> Thank the you. We've ever been, if you look at the human population, yeah. the history, yeah. right now as many as we are yeah. because of technology yeah. we are healthy. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. More, they know the education, they've mm. been educated. Uh, to balance their diet, yeah. Yeah, do this and that. Okay, mm -hmm. it depends actually. Yeah. In Kenya, yeah. it is in uh, specific places. Yeah. It's not in the whole country. Yeah. You see, like in the village, you cannot find these machines. Yeah. No matter how the land is big, you'll find them using the manual way. You'll find them just hiring people, they dig, they, they plant and yeah. they harvest. But in some places, for example, you have these places where they grow maize. You find if the, the one he said, he said about the machine, yeah. they try the, the plowing tractor. Yeah. yeah, they use the plowing tractor to plow the land. Yeah. But yeah. for the village, yeah. they just Coffee. use the manual. But how they improve the irrigation thing in Kitui, yeah. that land can be so productive. If at all, they, they can. Um, introduce the use of maybe canal irrigation because we have a Masinga, Masinga Dam. Yeah. We find at the kind of the electricity sector, yeah. they are supposed to use the water as a part of the irrigation. Research going on in a cultural, yeah, that is agricultural livestock, 
and such institution yeah. where they are using the, the coming up with the search yeah. to ensure that they produce the ovals or you need genes from some from livestock yeah. which are resistant to environmental to drought conditions to uh, put into the livestock that are indigenous and egg, exotic ones yeah. to ensure that they those that have high production, they also they have high. They increase their resistance yeah. to diseases. Ah, okay, and uh, that's one. Like, good, and also, they example. are coming up with uh, something <coughs> that we call crops mm. that have high product productivity. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. also yeah. something <coughs> what we call the value additions. Yeah, okay. Doing something them on production uh, to ensure that they don't only produce that crops yeah. as a maybe after the production, yeah. ensure that they increase the value of that group so that they mm. ensure that they sell it at a higher price. Yeah, uh, that, that's a very another very important factor so. uh, towards food security. security. Yeah, because without value addition, most of the foods are always wasted. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. So you can like, subscribe and comment below.